I have horrible news. It's really bad. Everything that's been going on with Martha Stewart's peacocks, she's not the only one. We have a coyote that has very, very expensive taste. He just wanted to sink his teeth into those peacock. Elvis, Marilyn, Michael Jackson, Lisa Marie. Today's a big day for the peacocks. A really big day. And it's not just because they're getting cat food that helps their urinary tract. And underneath, look at that, I got some nice golden, that's corn kernels under there. They're getting popcorn too. Today is a special day and you're about to find out why. Before we take care of the peacocks today, we gotta take care of other birds. Look at this, the seeds, we've had massive, massive storms. Look at that, the seeds are actually growing because of the massive storms. And they have been huge. As a matter of fact, Christian, I was uh, I was doing repairs up on the roof and blowing the roof off before you guys got here, right? Yep. And I've got other things to do, so Patience, here is the bag of bird seed. Come on up, come on up. Uh, Patience is vertically challenged, and she might be birdhouse challenged too. Patience, I need you to figure out how in the world to fill that thing out. Okay. I gotta, I gotta go take care of a few other things while Patience figures this out. Uh, wait, that wait. I don't know. Uh, do, do they just go in there? I feel like that's dangerous. They're gonna uh, fall out. I feel like I can't leave patience alone. <laughs> wait, wait. Just re take the lid off. Uh, take this, this one? No, don't touch this. Oh! Definitely. Don't touch that. Wait, oh, is this one okay to touch? Yep. Yeah, you can touch that. Does it open up? Do I put it in there? Can you reach? Oh my goodness, she can barely reach. Oh. She can barely reach. You know what? Oh oh, now she's tripping. Okay, patience, patience, patience. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll do this one. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the one that's closer to the ground, okay? I appreciate that. Alright, you'll get the one closer to the ground and uh, I'll take care of this one. All the tall ones I get, all the short ones patience gets. All you, you you, you can you can reach it. I, I can, can see that. I can reach it. That's not bad. That's not yeah. bad. Now how do you how do you fill it? I don't know. You know what? George can never figure it out either. That's Wait. definitely your size and George's size, but oh, go. oh, she figured there it out. Go. She got the lid off. Okay. Let's see. Should I use the cup or can I just dump it? You know what? What do you What are you better at, cupping or dumping? <laughs> I think dumping. Well, you know what? I would probably agree with that. Oh, so would Christian. Away. As much as you disappear on us, I would say probably as well. Sometimes the belly be rough. <laughs> Sometimes, with yeah. you, it seems like it's all the times. <laughs> Alright, I think you got it. Woo. Hang her up. Alright. We got lots of birds waiting for food. Yeah, we do. You know what, we should probably, we should give the chipmunks some today too. We're gonna, we, the, the chipmunk table, the chipmunk table. Let's, uh, Christian, you know, we're taking care of all of God's little animals out here. Let's go ahead, we're gonna give them a little snackage too. What do you think? That That's good? Yep. Are these not the coolest things you've ever seen in your life, okay? Those are awesome. These are condiment dipping clips that somebody sent to us. Uh, near and dear to my heart, obviously, is ketchup. Get so you. what you do is you just, boom, just like that. There's a clip there, and then I can put another clip. You know what, I might just put a clip right in here. You see this over here for George? So she could be on this side, and she'll get her clip here. And then I'll put my clip, you know what? I'm just gonna put my clip right next to George's, right there. I think we're good. We just need about 500 more clips for all the ketchup I eat. George and I had full intentions of planting a full garden this spring for all the animals and the birds. And um, so far we've gotten absolutely nothing done, but our potatoes, they are out of control. And I think it's time to plant them. I don't know anybody else who knows potatoes better than... Me! What's your shirt say? It says, you had me a baked potato. Okay, patience. <laughs> here's the deal. Here's yeah. some miracle Grow organic soil. And then here's the pot. All I want you to do, we're not gonna put them in the ground yet. You're gonna plant them in the pot, okay? Okay. And then Christian and I are gonna go up with the birds. We'll come back and check up on you. And we'll okay. see how good you do with the... Don't eat these. <laughs> They don't, don't eat look these. good. Yeah, no, you don't want to eat these. Uh -uh. <laughs> just plant them. Time to let the baby fluffy butts out. Look at them. They're just, I know, I know. They want their snacks and they got plenty of food and they've already started making food for us. 
Hey, Christian, have you been hearing uh, Mr. Cock-a-doo-da-doo in there? I have been. Yeah, the rooster is uh, crowing as well. Let's let them out, because we got a lot to do here in the chicken coop as well, as with the actual peacocks. All right, guys, release the fluffy butts. Here they come, here they come. Watch, some of them may start flying just for the fun of it. Okay, I got your snacks. Anybody want a snack? Anybody want a snack? Oh, you know, look, they're, they're eating their snack from yesterday. They actually took all of their popcorn and they dumped their popcorn out. I don't, I'm not sure why, but they did. But I'm gonna go ahead and give them the cat food. This is George right here. And uh, here's the rooster. Did you just see the rooster taking, taking pigeon looking chicken to ecstasy, I think. Did you see that? Did you, did you get that on camera, Christian? I might have. Oh my goodness, I'm blushing right now. The chickens, uh, they're a little rough on their mansion here. As a matter of fact, chickens, just like people, are always trying to climb to the top. And so chickens have a pecking order, and they all want to be up here on the upper, upper laying basket. Now, we haven't had straw in here, and you guys know we haven't had straw. We've got sawdust, and the reason is because straw was all out of stock all over in our area. We finally got some. We're gonna fix these up. We're gonna get straw everywhere here because the chickens are finally laying eggs. Check this out. Right behind this bucket of feed, George was just in here pecking them, and there's one, and <laughs> there's two. Look at that. Now, you know what that tells me? Two of the Bantrams are actually laying eggs so far, and the rest will be shortly falling behind. So we've got to get everything ready for laying. We don't want them laying on the ground. We want them laying in the baskets. I think the easiest way to clean out these laying baskets, just flip them. Just flip them. You know what? I'm just gonna undo it. I'm gonna undo it. That'll probably be better. We'll just undo that laying basket right there, and then because they've been going doo-doo in them, boom, just like that. We'll get it all cleaned out, and we're gonna do this with every single one, reinforce them back in, and then we're gonna fill them all with straw. Going pretty good. It's good? Yeah. You think you're doing it right? No. No? Yeah, I think... I'm listening to the, what the bag says. It says to keep the things three to five inches apart, and to put them in soil of five inches, which I did, I measured it out. But it just looks like there's it just looks like there's so many potato plants in here. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully think, this is what Jeremy you, wants. You can just put a little bit more now it's yeah. throwing stuff on top? Yeah, it's the bag is heavy. But, oh get it in there. Let's see. Hopefully I'm well, doing this right now. I mean if it's if you're not doing it right, I don't they think won't you grow. Kill potatoes though. They're too strong. Alright. The resilient plants. I think they're looking good. I hope so. Do you think I should water it? I have no idea. Now that we're all clean, we're going to go ahead and put straw in every laying box. And then, hopefully, all the eggs end up here instead of down there. They're all just chilling. Oh, no, you How come this one's so small? I don't know. That one's That's like one of the small ones. I think these guys must have both laid eggs because they were two little eggs. They were two little eggs? Yeah. Me. Oh, I smell like potatoes. Oh, you're eyeing my hand up. Oh. George got shy all of a sudden when the camera came on. George keeps coming in to help me. She's like, that's right. You better be making my mansion even better. She's in here scoping everything out, creeping on me. She must pick the best nest. How are the potatoes? The potatoes are good. I want the best potatoes. <laughs> are they done? I think so. You think or you know so? I, I know so, but you have to check to make sure they're Look, ready. here she comes again. She's like, what are you doing, Jeremy? Yeah. She's like, what are you doing? Okay, so I have to check the potatoes? Yeah, we gotta check the potatoes. Okay, uh, once I get these nesting baskets done, we'll go check the potatoes. I don't know, what do you think here, Patience? You think these potatoes are gonna grow? I, I, I don't know. They're I, doing something. I've never I've never planted a potato. I never. didn't know if I was supposed to never. fill the soil all the way up to the top. I was like. You know what? We're just, we're gonna go with it. Now, potatoes need a lot of sun. You think they're gonna get enough sun here? It doesn't look like it. Uh, we're probably gonna have to put the potatoes in another place to make sure they get enough sun. Until then, we gotta go give George the eggs. Can't find George, but what I can find is all the other eggs so far. So there's two from last night, and then what else do we have in here? Well, bam That's a big egg. Yeah, that's a big egg. That's how we grow them in the Hales headquarters household. The bigger, the better.
Got Patience's potatoes right here, unbaked, of course. And I think the <laughs> best place for them, where they're gonna get a lot of sun, is gonna be right here. We'll be able to water them, they'll get all the sun they need, and then eventually we're gonna use them to feed all the animals anyway. So, win for everybody. Patience, yeah. I got a lot of stuff to hang out on the outside, the art. So I'm gonna give you this rake. What I want you to do, there's a lot of sawdust in here. Mm -hmm. I just want you to take the layer of poo, okay? So you're gonna rake a layer of poo. Well, if you see a lot of poo, just rake up all the poo. It's deeper over here, you can see that. But I want all the poo, and then we're gonna put the straw down over the sawdust that remains. Okay. Where they typically do the most poo is right here by the door. So you're gonna have the most right there. You know what's gonna help you? What? A wheelbarrow. You know what? What? You start this, I'll go get you a wheelbarrow. Okay. I think we have the exact thing that patients needs. See this wheelbarrow right here? Yep. This was left behind by the previous owner. Uh, I think the tires will be all right too. Is that a double tire? It is, I think it's double tire. So patients loves, loves chickens and loves chicken poo. She actually did a lot of work with chickens early on in her life. She loves this kind of thing. You know what? The uh, previous owners didn't just leave this. They left something else I got to show you. Oh, no, no. These are my favorite shorts, Christian. And the wheelbarrow, you see, you see there's all this pointy stuff here. It just caught and I ripped my favorite shorts. And I don't think there's any Frankenstitch in these bad boys. Previous owner also left this shed and he left it for firewood. Matter of fact, he would have firewood delivered and then it would be it would come split. They would use the fireplace all the time in the living room. George and I, we won't be here in the winters. So we'll be in the Florida ranch. So uh, Christian, I had this amazing idea I threw at George the other day. I've got an excavator coming in. He's gonna put in a new drive up to the peacocks and up to the chickens. And we've got an aviation uh, building coming in as well. I thought I could ask him to move this and this could go inside the aviator and we could use this for pygmy goats. What do you think? That sounds like a good idea. Hold a second. You and patients are gonna have to move all of the firewood out of here and put it down by the bonfire pit. Still a good idea? Yeah, no, it's not a good idea. All right, maybe it stays, who knows. Patience, yeah. I have horrible news. It's really bad. What's the horrible news? It's really, really, really bad. What? You're gonna find this hard to believe, but I ripped my favorite shorts. What? Can you believe this? What were you doing? I was getting you a wheelbarrow. That's, I, you know what? I, I'm, I'm learning. No more manual labor for me. This is why I have help. My favorite clothes get destroyed when I do this kind of thing. Oh my gosh, it's dusty. You better look out for me. Our main emphasis today is to work on the peacock area. And because the peacocks are extremely important to us, um, Everything that's been going on with Martha Stewart's peacocks, she's not the only one. We have a coyote that has very, very expensive taste. Martha lost six peacocks to a coyote. We've got six peacocks that we're scared to death to lose to a coyote as well. While Patience is doing poo, we're doing signs. And the most important sign, right there, hot chicks inside. Can never have enough hot chicks laying eggs. Everybody knows the rooster may crow, but it's the hen that delivers the goods. And last screw on the last sign. Not too bad. Sometimes you just got to say cluck it and you got to walk away. Let's get to the coop, see how Patience is doing. Patience, good job in here. Doing good. Good layer of uh, straw there. I've got a few more decorations here. I think, I think that looks good right there. What do you think? It looks good. Okay. And now I got my chicken daddies. <laughs> calendar I do not want my chickens not knowing not knowing what the day is okay and every day should be laying day so I'm thinking the calendar let's see if we can find July there we go July I think the calendar would look really good right about here so I'm gonna center yeah yeah I'm feeling it I'm feeling it right there so this way the chickens always know what the day is, and they know the chicken daddy is always watching them. I just got laid in the backyard, meaning eggs. So I think uh, that should that should go good right there, don't you guys think? Yeah. yeah. I like that. And then uh, wicked chickens laid deviled eggs. I like that too. I'm gonna say 
I'm gonna say, it's got a little stringy thing. You know what, let me think about that. But right for right now, I'm thinking right there. And then I like this little thing here too. That's kind of nice. This Patience. Yeah. This, uh, this, this straw is looking good. I'll tell you Thank what, you. just because we have to keep them inside so often for the coyotes, how about one more layer on top of that layer? Does okay. that sound okay? Yeah. And while while you do that, I think I think this guy's gonna get hung up right about, well, if I can get the screw to stay on, right about, this is easier said than done. You know what, I'm just gonna yoink like that, and yoink like that, bada bing, Bada boom, we're so close to getting to the peacocks. I took all the sawdust that was on the bottom that was full of poop, and I took it all out, and then I spread around the sawdust, and then I put all of this this new straw up there. Me and George been hanging out. Look at George coming in, check things out again. Does she, George approve? Yes, she does. Look, she's already she already took a dump over in the corner. It must have been perfect for she her. She was waiting. That's what she was in. She was like, you know what? I'm using it first. <laughs> We had a beautiful fan who loves the chickens send us these as well. And Patience, now that you're done with the rake and the shovel, I think we can hang both of these up in the back of the coop and then we'll hang the rake and the shovel right here for cleaning in the future. Bada bing! Oh my goodness, I love it. You're gonna have to go higher, higher. Oh, it works, it works. Uh, a fan, a local fan actually gave us this freezer as well, but uh, it did have some rotten food in it. So it needs washed out. And what we're going to do, we're going to use one freezer for the peacock's food, and we're going to use the other freezer for the actual chicken food. That's not the only thing that needs washed out. And don't worry, we have water. I'm going to show you guys right now. We've got running water here in the she shed, and we have a connection right there on the end of the, uh, the well hose there, so that we can actually put a normal hose on there. We can run water all the way to the peacock playpen and to the freezer, wash those out. Very important because peacocks are getting a playpen makeover today since they can't get out because the coyote is still hanging around. As a matter of fact, he was here two days ago. Two days ago, standing, waiting. He just wanted to sink his teeth into those peacock. So you guys found it. Found okay. Those. All right, here's the deal. I gotta go get some supplies down at the Hales headquarters at the house. Okay. Here's some uh, towels for washing out the you know, the, uh, the icky poos. The icky and poos. you guys, you guys get that all set up and running. We got a nozzle too. We got yep. a spray. Okay. You guys get going. I'm going to go grab some supplies. We're going to make this, this peacock, uh, playpen a peacock paradise. <laughs> all right. I didn't even get down to the garage and here comes the mini excavator coming up the lane. You see this road right here? Well, it's all going to go in here so we can get trailers in and then we're gonna be able to park trailers here as well. And then we're gonna get that shed over there and we're gonna move it over into here. And there'll be a huge, huge bird aviary over here, protecting all the animals from the coyotes. You know what they say, when the contracted excavator is away, Jeremy Hales will play. She tried to get away, but I got her. She's <laughs> never getting away from you, Christian. I got your back. <laughs> is it working, guys? I don't know. I don't, no. I don't like it. No? It's kind of gross. Oh, that is, that's grody right there. That's grody. What's worse, uh, chicken poo or peacock poo? Peacock. It smells yeah, peacock. worse. Is is that scrubby thing working? No. It's, that's, look that's how a, gross this scrubby thing looks. That's a baby toothbrush compared to this pen. You know what? The peacocks were never supposed to be in here this long. It's the coyote's fault. It is 100% the coyote's fault. But uh, we're making it work. As a matter of fact, here, Christian, try, 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 try a couple of these. I got some flat shovels. Maybe that'll work better. Here, we'll just pass those in. That might work a little bit better. Rooster, rooster's out there crowing. We see. See if that works. Okay. And why? Why you guys are scrubbing and scraping? I'm. I'm gonna start making some extra things for the peacocks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. Not good. Not good. No, that's icky. That's chocolate right there. Wow, Christian and Patience <laughs> are taking care of the peacock play er pen area. Uh, we're gonna turn into just the most amazing area ever. I went and I got the miter saw, and I went and I got these uh, PVC pipes, and I drilled a couple holes in each side of the pipes because we're gonna make this not just the play pen area. We're gonna make this the peacock penthouse.
Before we put all the extras in, we want to make it nice and clean in here for the for the peacocks. So now that we finally have straw, oh, yeah, it's straw. <laughs> now that we finally have straw, we're gonna put a straw base around the entire area here. Now a lot of a lot of viewers have asked, why don't the peacocks have a straw nesting area? Because peacocks don't nest, they roost. This is what they do. They come up top and they lay down on a flat area, just like they would in a giant tree, just like they would on your roof, just like they would anywhere else. They want to get to the highest point and they want to lay down. They don't nest until they lay their hatchlings. And that doesn't happen until spring. Look at this beautiful floor. I mean, come on, look at it. Would you just look at it? These peacocks are spoiled. Now, Martha Stewart's peacocks, they were free range, and ours are supposed to be that way as well, but we just can't risk it right now. So we're gonna put a few extra little fun things in here, such as these roosts, and we're just gonna go right in like that. Okay, and then Patience, you got that side over there? Yep. All right, we're gonna come right in over here as well. The peacocks will be able to come over here and play on these roosts on the, on the angles. And, oh yeah, okay, and oh, I like that. I like that a lot, I do. You know who else is gonna like that? Oh, Elvis, Marilyn, Michael Jackson, Lisa Marie. Oh, look at that, okay. Yeah, that is, that is incredible. Now I know a lot of the people out there go, no, 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 it's gotta be flat. They need to perch on something flat. No, 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 no. Trees aren't flat, trees are round. That's the way God created them. They're supposed to be in the wild, not in an enclosure. So out here, we're gonna give them round just the same over here. And I have, I have another idea. It may work or it may be the dumbest thing ever. Let's find out. I was hoping if we snuck up on them, and we just peeked up on them, they'd be on the roost. What do you think? I think so. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. I tell you, nothing I make for these birds, whether it's peacocks or whether it's chickens, they don't use it. I don't know why. Why do we lay eggs on the ground? It's concrete when you have these beautiful nesting baskets. Why not roost? You know what? I'm making them a swing no matter what. Time to Jeremy rig again. I've got this old piece of PVC. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drill a hole right here. Let's see, can we get a good hole? Oh, come on, come on. There we go. I'm gonna drill a hole right there and then this old rope, I don't know where it came from. It came from a storage unit. I'm gonna make a trapeze, a roosting trapeze. I'm gonna put the rope through that eye. Patience saw right through it, yep. What yep. if I get you? If you get me, I have nine more fingers. Ah! Oh, just at least try not to get me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, we need to cut that frayed ah! end off. Man, and I thought I was scared. This rope is frayed too. <laughs> it should be of you. There we All go. Right. Not bad. Now that we have our rope through the end of the PVC pipe, we're just gonna, we're gonna knot it just like so. And what that'll do, see, now our rope is in there nice and secure. We'll do the same thing on the other side. We put a hole up in the rafter so that it's easier for us to put this hook in. So our swing is actually gonna, gonna go right onto this hook so we can take the swing down anytime we need to. And honestly, the way that I'm building this, Patience and Christian will be able to swing on this if they wanted to. And if I wanted to make it even sturdier, I've got enough PVC that I can take two by four, yep, a piece of two by four, and if I put a cut piece of two by four in there, that'll sturdy, sturdy up the entire piece of PVC piping. And that way, I know I might even be able to swing on this thing. Patients, I kind of need to know where where do we want this swing? Do we want it low? Do we want it high? I don't know. What do you think would look better at high or low? I'm thinking, what's that look like right there? It doesn't look bad. What do you think, Christian? How's that look right there? If patients, if you pull up that other side, all right, does that look good right there in the middle, a swing? I think that's a good height. I think it's a good height. <clears throat> Should it be higher or lower? Just you know what? We'll let it we'll let it go lower because the master of all the peacocks, the uh the, the peacock of all peacocks is going to be the one that gets the highest points. And so some of the uh, underlings, they need to be having some fun. And frankly, I'd rather be on the lower swing than up on the high roost. You need to know when it's level, patience. Yeah, go up. Oh, okay. Yeah, go up. Yeah, right. right there. That's perfect. Really? <laughs> that is perfect. 
Seriously, where, where's it level? Right, right there. That's actually level. You right there. It. Yeah, perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, perfect. Are the peacocks eyeballing it yet? Not yet. I think they don't like the sound of the rope. Oh, who doesn't love rope? <laughs> I'm holding all the weight right now. Get in the middle. Get in the middle. I'm holding all the weight. I'm going to let go. Let's see if this thing works in three, <laughs> two, one. Oh, Ooh. not only for peacocks. It works for patience's as well. Yeah. Ah, you guys clean this one all out, right? Yep. yep. All right, patience, I need your superhuman strength. <laughs> Careful of your hands. We're going to scoot towards the other one, okay? This is going to be the peacock cooler. Okay. How you doing? You good? I, I can't grab this. I'm going to slick. All right, can you walk it? Oh, okay. Um, I'll should we? It. Here, here, here. I got you. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, you're so strong. Uh, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Are we close? Yeah. We're like two feet. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, whew, that sounded good, That huh? was pretty terrible. All right, we're gonna scoot a bit closer. Woo! It's right for the ears. That's metal concrete scrape right there. Okay, this one is Ooh. gonna be for all the peacocks, okay? Ooh. So I've got peacock food over here right now. And this? We can make the transition finally. That's what we're gonna do. This one right here. All right. That's peacock food right there. That's for your flock razor that has a higher protein. And then, yep, this one right here. That's for peacocks as well. And this, that's my bubble guppies cup that I feed all the, all the birds with. Jeremy is turning this into a pygmy goat place, which I'm super excited for. I love pygmy goats. Hopefully, get some goats that faint. But we're supposed to take all of this wood and put it someplace else. I'm gonna go clean up the upper shelf and we'll see if the peacocks actually jump to the roost or the swing. Here we go. Hey babies. Come on, babies. Ah. Alright, my turn to come up here with you guys. Time to clean up. It's the cleanup crew. Nope, doesn't look like they're hiding in the corner right there. My babies never, ever use what I make for them. I just got done stacking the wood. Christian was was bringing it down to me. There it is, all stacked up. I had to get a little weird with the sides because there is there some of them were way too long. They stuck out so far, so I had to stand them up on their sides like this one over here. I'm shaking, and then that one. But I think Jeremy will be pretty happy because it doesn't go above that screen. So, and this is the nice looking wood. This one looked like it was freshly cut, so we put these ones right here. Come on, babies, I need some space. Come on. Yeah, I love you all as well. I need some space, though. Oh, I love you, I love you. Give me, whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Marilyn, Marilyn. We finally finished moving all of the wood. So we Look at all this. We have all the wood up at the house, right outside of that sun porch. And then we have all of this wood, which this is double stacked. <laughs> so, there's a lot. And I don't know if you can tell, but judging based on all this wood, this man really likes to have giant bonfires. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna burn all of this and just roast weenies on it. <laughs> Whether they want it or not, they're even getting straw up on the upper shelf. Because these are upper shelf peacocks. These are what the hails peacocks. They get the best. Christian just has to sweep out all the leaves onto the ground. And then this will be a nice little house for all those little baby pygmy goats. 